Solve equations in quadratic form. We have an equation here which looks like an exponential equation. 2 to the power of 2x minus 12 times 2 to the power of x plus 32 equals to 0. But can it be written as a quadratic equation? Let's explore that part. Okay, So I'll use right side of my page as a rough work column. Okay, So I'm calling it as rough work column. That is kind of important. Whenever you work, leave some room for rough calculations. Okay, it helps. Now, in this column, what I will do is let's substitute something. So, say let 2 to the power of x equals to t. So, we'll substitute t for 2 to the power of x. Then, what is 2 to the power of 2x? Then, 2 to the power of 2x. 2 to the power of 2x can be written as 2 to the power of x square, right? Correct. When you multiply 2 with x, you get 2x. So this is as good as writing t square because 2 to the power of x is t for us. So 2 to the power of 2x becomes t square for us. Now, we will replace x with t. Okay? And we write 2 to the power of 2x as t square. So we change the variable from x to t. So and that made a magic and that is it transformed our equation to a quadratic equation which is t square minus 12t plus 32 equals to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is a trinomial which we can factor easily and find the solution because something equals to 0 if we have product of two numbers here any one of them will 0 make the solution for us. So, how to solve such an equation? Well, to solve this, what we really need to do is to find two numbers. Let's say the two numbers are P and Q, whose product should be 32, the constant term here, and whose sum should be the coefficient of t, which is minus 12. Now, what are could be these two numbers? 32, you can get 16 times 2 is 32. Well, in that case you don't get 12 and both numbers should be negative because when you multiply negative numbers you get positive but when you add you get negative that's what we are looking for but 8 times 4 can work so let's have minus 8 times minus 4 correct when you multiply negative negative you do get positive 8 times 4 is 32 when you add them you get minus 12 so that works so we will use these two numbers and factor our equation so we are left with t minus 8 times t minus 4 equals to 0. Perfect. So this is quadratic equation in factored form. The beauty is we can straight away see our solution. We could have used quadratic formula also here to find the solution. Okay, But when factoring is simple, let's do that. And it's also practice for factoring. right? So you'll find these application problems also under the playlist of factoring. right? Because that is really an application of factoring. So that gives us two solutions and the solutions for us are, let me write down the solutions here, right? The two solutions. So the two solutions for us are one t equals to 8 and the other one t equals to 4. If I put 8 here, 8 minus 8 is 0, 0 times anything is 0. And if I put 4 for t, 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 times anything is 0, so that is also a part of our solution. But well, we want what x is. We can go back to our substitution and re-substitute or back substitute. t is 2 to the power of x. So instead of t, I'm going to write 2 to the power of x equals to 8. And here, 2 to Now how to find, how to find x from here? 2 to the power of x equals to 8, uh, well, we can write 8 as a base of 2, and we can say, well, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, and 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 3, right? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So that means x equals to 3. So that gives us a solution as x equals to 3. So if you have common base, then, and if the equation is equal, exponent should be same. Similarly, we'll work out this side also. How do you get 4 as a power of 2? 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And therefore, x equals to 2 is a solution. 
Now, when you have a solution, it's a good idea to check your solution. Correct? So let's check the solution now. So let's do check. So if you check for 2 to the power of 3, you get here 2 to the power of 3 times 2 is 6 minus 12 2 to the power of 3 plus 32. Now 2 to the power of 6 is what? Well, let's figure out what is 2 to the power of 3 and then that would be easy, right? So uh, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so 8, 8 times 8, right, 64, so this is 64, minus, now here we are doing 8 times 12, so 8 times 2 is 16, and 1 gives us 96, plus 32, so 64 plus 32 is 96, 96 minus 96 is 0, so it works, good job. Similarly, let's check this side, 2. So 2 to the power of 2x will make it 2 to the power of 4 minus 12, 2 to the power of 2. Well, I should have written 4 here. Doesn't matter. Plus 32. And let's 2 to the power of 2 is 4 and 4 times 4 is 16. So it is 16 here minus 12 times 4, which is 48 plus 32. Now 16 plus 32 is 48. 48 minus 48 is 0. So that also works. Therefore, our solution is x is equal to 3 or 2. So both are our solutions. Thank you.